Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my five favorite dog products for my little Maltese Casper. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you my five favorite dog products for my little Maltese Casper. So Casper is the first dog that I've owned and I've had him for a year and a half. And let's just say it was a learning process to figure out what worked for him and what didn't. The first major thing was his food. So when we got him, they gave us food to feed him, but he didn't really like it very much. It was like puppy dog food and we just thought he was a picky eater. He just would not eat it. So we had to switch him over to wet food, which wasn't the best for him, but it was the only way that he would eat. So we finally ran out of the dry dog food because we would mix it in with his wet food and we decided we wanted to try a different brand, maybe something that he would like. Additionally, his current food and the wet food were causing him to have a really bad tear stains. So basically he is a bright white dog and he would have like these brown lines and his face would be so brown because of the food that he was eating. We did a lot of research. So my boyfriend spent a lot of time trying to figure out what food would help him with these tear stains. And this is what we came up with. We got him the Hills Science Diet food for small paws because he's small and he's an adult now because he's one. Let me just say, he loves this food. He devours it, which is so good because we didn't want to feed him wet food for the rest of his life. He loves it and it's so healthy for him. So there's a win right there. The second product I unfortunately don't have with me right now, but these are Spiral Bully Sticks. I'll attach a link in the description below. Basically, they are these big spiral chews and they're really good for dental hygiene and they just entertain him forever. He loves them. The next thing is the treats that we give him. So we knew that rawhide was bad for dogs, so we got him these dream bone treats, which he loves. They have no rawhide and they are mini chews that have peanut butter and they're wrapped in chicken. And unfortunately we don't have any left right now, but there's no rawhide and he loves them. And they're good for him because they don't have any rawhide. So while they are a little pricey, they're totally worth it to give him something healthy. Another thing that was quite a learning process for me is trying to figure out what toys work best for him. So buying toys for a small dog did not work. He would tear those up the minute that he got them. Instead, he would prefer to carry around giant stuffed animals and shoes that were his size or bigger. So I started buying him large dog toys. The first thing that he always bites off is the face. So stuffed toys are not the best for him. He'll bite the face off, then there's a big hole in the face and he tears all the stuffing out, which obviously isn't good for him. So I went on Chewy.com and I found something that is so perfect for him. So this is a large dog toy. It is slightly smaller than Casper and he loves it. So while this does look like a stuffed toy, it's not. So there's a squeaker in the head and this is not filled with stuffing, it's filled with rope. So here there's like a knot in the rope and then the arms, you can feel like the rope in it all the way in all of the limbs. So even if he tears a hole in this, there's not gonna be stuffing coming out of it. And it's more sturdy, so he couldn't rip a leg off or something like that, which he's done with other toys. So this has been very durable for him. He has bitten one of the horns off, but like I said, there's no stuffing. So like, there's no harm in that. Very durable, very worth it. Okay, this last thing that we use on our dog is a little controversial, but it works for us. So potty training Casper was a nightmare. He did not like it. He was not good at it. We tried for months and months and months and nothing was working. We were Googling millions of things and basically the internet told us that his dog breed is not very good at potty training and it's gonna take a really long time. So they gave us an alternate solution. Are you ready for this? The internet told us 
to a litter box train him. While we did think this was crazy, we were desperate. We had been trying to potty train him for months, so we decided to try it. And let me just tell you, it is the best decision that we ever made. So of course we still bring him outside and we take him on walks and he goes to the bathroom when he goes outside now, but it is so convenient having him able to go whenever he needs to go. When we were potty training him, he would go pee outside, come inside, and then pee again two minutes later. They have such small bladders and they could pee like every 10 minutes. So having it there for him all the time is so convenient. He can go without us, like we don't need to wake up in the morning and take him outside. And the vet also told us this, with small dogs like this, they're very similar to cats. So it's honestly not that weird that he uses a litter box. He doesn't have accidents in the house. He will go outside if we're outside, but he doesn't have to. So I know it's crazy, but if you have a small dog and you're really struggling to potty train, I would try it. All right, those are my five favorite products for my little Maltese Casper. If you have any questions about any of the products, feel free to ask. I will have all of them linked in the description below if I can find them all. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.